Hey guys, Kicker here, and a couple weeks ago, Intel sent me this SSD, the X25M Mainstream uh, Solid State Drive, and if you don't know what Solid State Drive is, that's SSD again, that's uh, different from your traditional hard drive, but it has a disk and it spins, it's all built with flash, and that means everything's, you know, chips, there's no moving uh, parts within the thing, it's all built off flash memory. Uh, so it's silent for one. It's much, much more smaller than your traditional hard drive uh, in terms of you know thinness and lightness. I believe this is the uh, what version did I get? I believe I got the uh, what was it? I don't want to hear. I got the eight. Oh, I got, obviously I got the eighty gigabyte version. They have an eighty and a twenty. I mean one sixty, I should say. Sorry, eighty and one sixty. And I believe I see. I want to make sure I got the measurements right here. I say that I want to say there's a three point five. It, uh, Get make sure yeah okay I got the 2.5 or there's a 2.5 or a 1.8 I got the 2.5 so the one I have is not even the thinnest one and it's a really really amazing product if you haven't seen my design video on it yet highly recommend you check that out it, Intel really designed this so it all works together it works with each part you know the NAND controllers everything works together and it just makes you makes your computer have a great performance great experience guys I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, you know all the uh, ups and downs of the product, and as well as uh, I'll go to a screencast later on showing you some benchmarks and stuff like that off their site, and as well as some other stuff. Okay, so first off, um, main thing people want to see, you know, boot speeds, and I actually timed it here, and I have it written down. Uh, with my traditional hard drive, uh, including, like, I, I kind of tried to stop the timer when it came to boot loading screens, like, select what operating system, because I have Ubuntu installed, and that really doesn't count in the booting process. So I cut off some time. Uh, my traditional thing with it started up with a couple apps. It took 54.2 seconds. Now with the Intel SSD, starting up with a, a virus protection that's AVG and just uh, the regular Windows system stuff, just a clean install of Windows XP Pro. It took 37.7 seconds. And what I want to do real quick is just to show you a quick. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera here to my screen. Just a quick shutdown and boot up time, real quick. Uh, so. Turn it off, and if you notice, just turn it off, and well, wait for it to go off. And you know, traditionally it takes usually longer, but uh, the SSD does a great job of just automatically shutting it down right away within a couple seconds. I really didn't time the shutdown time, but mainly what we're going to be looking at is the boot up time. So I'm just going to wait a second here as it shuts down. And uh, again, that's 54.2 compared to 37.7. There's no moving parts in the SSD; it's just all flash. And it's off, so now we're going to boot it up. And so you hit the boot speed here. Move this down there so can... And see, this is the boot screen I disregarded right here. There's no login screen. See, I, I timed it from as soon as that came on. I waited for this. I stopped the time here because it's just a raid utility. And then I waited for this to go away. So disregard all of this because this isn't, you know, in your usual boot process and neither is this unless you have multiple operating systems. And the keyboard does not want to work for some reason. Okay, that's weird. What the heck? <laughs> okay, we're going to have to wait a second here. So, this isn't the traditional time that it takes to boot, just the keyboard doesn't want to work for some reason. Six, five, four, it has an automatic timer, so the keyboard should work after this. Okay, so it's going to boot into XP, so this is the actual boot speed right here, this is what you want to look at from this right here. This only takes, like, after that one just goes across and it's already going to go into the operating system here. So this is the welcome screen, and then boot it up. And then, you know, just to do some tests, I can open up something like Firefox right off the bat if I want to, so open up Firefox just to see how it does right from the bat right off. And okay, so it has actually three things booting off the mixer and there you go, it's already booted off into the that's already opening Firefox. I'm just gonna close that. Recycling bin see stuff opens up really quick, really responsive, just a quick boot. And again disregard all those screens and for some reason it just didn't want to work because the keyboard is messed up. But anyway, <laughs> so moving on here. Um okay. So you got an example of the boot speeds, shutdown speeds. Uh, it's really fast. Again, I timed it around 37.7 around there. Now, task as in file transfers, I saw a good increase. Uh, downloading 
speeds that hard drive does help a lot of that. It did do it good, you know, reasonably well, uh, speeds. Application running, like I said, you know, running stuff right off the bat did great. If you see here, again, if I turn it back, how responsive it is when I just click on something, it opens right away. You know, stuff like that. Uh, opening up multiple, just keep on opening file, or if I want to open up something like Mozilla Thunderbird, which would actually open on my other. You know, just quick, responsive, nice and easy. And that's what the SSD really brings to the table. It brings quick, responsive, you know, whatever, uh, to the foreground, application running, ta file transfers, downloads, stuff like that. Now, what a lot of people also want to see is my Geekbench scores, so uh, I did get the Geekbench scores. I'm just getting under my documents here and open it up. I actually have to open it with Geekbench, I'm pretty sure. Where is it now? Geekbench 2, 32-bit. Okay. Later. Okay, so I'll actually have to run the benchmark, so I'll run them real quick here. This is doing text compressing. Uh, right now, Geekbench just gets a couple statistics for your RAM, memory, stuff like that. Again, this is a, what do you call it, fresh install of Windows XP Professional. So now it's doing Crafty Chest, Lua. These are all the code words for the stuff that they have running. And it's already almost halfway done. There's not much stuff installed on this, again, like I said, main applications. Or up here, and still have some stuff, and you saw the good increase right there. Primarily test. And like I said, all the tasks I've been running SSD, it's been really, really reliable. It's silent, that's another thing. Uh, if you go, uh, if I listen to the side machine, my case is actually open right now, and I really had nothing compared to because there's nothing spinning. When I'm reading and writing, you know, you may hear the disk kick in at random times, but not with the SSD. The SSD does a great job of keeping silent because there's no moving parts, obviously. And like I said, um, it's just really, really great. And right now it's getting the read and write sequential, the stream copy, and all that stuff. So, and just about done. So I'm going to turn it right here for the Geekbench and view details. So it says I got a 1,341 1, uh, in the Geekbench. And if we go to like stuff like the memory, the read sequential is 522, write sequential is 799, the stream copy is 593, and it's on a single threaded scalar. And, um, yeah, so those are just some main benchmarks people want to see. Now, what I'm going to do more is I'm going to go into uh, the actual SSD, uh, other highlights. Um, so I'm going to, for that, I'm going to cut to a quick screen capture, so I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, so we're back here, and uh, I have the Intel page pulled up right here. And I just want to go over some stuff real quick. So, again, we've already talked about better by design, uh, two options, no worries, obviously. There's two options you can get with the x 5 ms There's a 1.8 and 2.5, 160 gigabyte and 80 gigabyte. And I was working with the 80 gigabyte version, and it's been amazing. Uh, I don't really use that much storage, so 80 gigabytes is great for me. So the read latency is around 85 microseconds, the bandwidth up to 250 megabytes read speeds and up to 700 megabyte write speeds. Um, life expectancy, and this is something great with SSD, 1.2 million hours mean, uh, mean time before failure are MTBF. So it has a huge uh, life expectancy compared to traditional drives because it's all built on flash. And, you know, uh, even though the hard drive is in the machine, it really is great design, greatly designed. It's a nice, uh, I'm not sure if enclosure, if it's aluminum or what, but it's really, really sleek and nice. Enclosure, it does do uh, great in temperature speeds, or temperature readings, I should say. So, operating shock talks about some stuff. Operating temperature, you can go 0 Celsius to about 70 Celsius, so it doesn't get too hot. And again, it still stays quiet under all of this. Now, what I want to show you that really is uh, really cool benchmarks, I want to show you this real quick. So, I'm going to load up what they have as their benchmark as well, some cool benchmarks that may uh, you may want to look into. Uh, okay, so... Amplify your PC's overall performance with these SSDs now. Faster system performance. So uh, we're going to show you this real quick right here as it loads. Okay, so um, higher the better, obviously. Uh, the hardest score right here is 2000 or 24,366 compared to a baseline. This is an Intel Core 2 Duo, you know, right here, running the Intel 80 gigabyte and the Toshiba 120 at 5400 RPM. Now this is running just tests like DirectX 9, or what is this uh, showing here? Uh, okay, so these are just the PC mark advantages for faster system performance. Now, spend less time waiting for installations. Now, this is something I really noticed as well. 
when you're installing stuff, uh, you know, if you have other applications opening or open in the foreground, it may take a while for stuff to install. Not with the SSD. The SSD does a really great job of focusing on, you know, the background application as well as what you're installing and really giving effort to what's installing uh, more likely to, you know, whatever is in the background. So as it shows here, the whole Microsoft Office Professional took only 1 minute and 45 seconds to download compared to a 2 minute 20 second, second download. And it says here, uh, time it takes for your new applications to install, get up to 40% improvement. So you get a 40% improvement with that. Now for you gamers out there, uh, if you ever want to install a patch uh, for your favorite games while a virus scan is running, you know, virus scans can take up a lot of, you know, uh, RAM or whatever, you know, can take up a lot of stuff. And the SSD does a great job of uh, really focusing on, again, on your uh, download speeds. And so it shows here, uh, update a patch for a pretty heavy game, which is World of Warcraft, while running a Microsoft Windows Defender 8 uh, scan. And obviously here, lower is better. It only takes 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Now, I haven't tested this as much because I don't have games installed on my SSD. But the traditional one would take about 6 minutes and 48 seconds. So now you're really getting a look at how uh, you know can take what's at whatever's in the foreground or in the background and really you know even it out and give you good enough speeds. Now we're going to show you here speed up copying, exporting, and much more. So it does a lot of things here in Microsoft Outlook. So this graph is going to load here. Here it is. The lower is better. And you see here 13 seconds compared to 27 seconds in doing in export and import features. Now this is doing Microsoft Outlook. Uh, overall performance impact of virus scanning software. So if you've canceled your virus thing while your computer, you know, when it runs, and you know, uh, with the reading speed of this, it's just amazingly fast. So, again, lower is better, 1 minute and 48 seconds, as it says here. You always cancel your virus scan because you don't want to stop using your computer when it runs. Now your virus scan will read your Intel uh, performance SATA solid drive, solid state drive faster. So, if you ever have to cancel a virus scan, you know, because maybe it's like taking up too much CPU or whatever like that, the, uh, it does... Good job again of leveling it out and get what it says here get 40% improvement when running a Windows Defender. You know, so you can keep running your virus scan while doing your daily tasks that way. Uh, and the SSD does a great job of keeping your, uh, uh, you know, thing running at best performance with its great read and write speed. So, and lastly, the Intel high performance uh, solid state drives overall system performance We're using the Sysmark 2007 Preview Edition. And the higher, obviously, the better. So 16% higher than your baseline traditional hard drive. And they're using, again, the 5400 RPM 120GB by Toshiba. So, guys, these are really, really good benchmarks to look at. Uh, you can check this out, again, at weurl.com slash SSD to get to their homepage. And then you can go to look at uh, everything else from there. And with that, guys, um, yeah, so my initial thoughts of the SSD, it's fast. It does a great job of uh, reading and writing speeds and, you know, really optimizing stuff for foreground and you know background um, you know whatever you want to say uh, performance when you're running a virus scan I've tried running AVG while running my native apps I still get great speeds um, and you know just installing applications and such forth does really really great job so uh, two thumbs up to Intel for uh, this great great product uh, thanks again to Shore Rao for sending me this review unit uh, and I'll say thanks guys I really love the SSD and I'm looking forward to seeing the other versions that come from Intel so Guys, if you're interested, check out weurl.com slash SSD. That will redirect you to the Intel's page, or you can head over to intel.com and search their SSDs. With that, guys, thanks for listening. And uh, I guess you can say my overall opinion, 10 out of 10, really, out of this SSD. This is the best uh, hard drive I've ever used, and 10 out of 10 on the review. I uh, hope you guys check it out, and when they release it, or you know if you can find it anywhere. Really, uh, I know it's kind of pricey, but if you're looking for the best performance, this SSD is, uh, we'll get it done. So thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later.